John Jones, a name that resonates with both greatness and controversy. John Jones' journey to the top has been marked by numerous highs and lows, triumphs and setbacks. This video dives into the life of John Jones, exploring his childhood, early career, title fights, controversies, and his legacy as one of the most gifted fighters in the history of MMA. John Jones was born in Rochester, New York. He was raised in a family of wrestlers. His father, Arthur Jones, was a pastor and a high school wrestling coach who instilled a strong work ethic in his children. He also grew up with two brothers who would end up becoming pro football players. Chandler got in a fight. Uh, me and Chandler ended up uh, jumping Arthur. And uh, <laughs> we held him down. Uh, wedged his wedge between a wall and the bed. We held him down for almost about an hour, an hour straight, you know, just punching him and, and you know, choking him and, you know, just beating his ass quite frankly. How mad was he when he got up? He was so mad. I remember we got into a point where he was so exhausted that I had to hold him for a minute by myself. And I told Chandler, I said, you go open the front door. I'm going to let him go. We're going to get out of here. Chandler opened the door. It's open. We go take it off down the street. Arthur comes out crying and sweaty and he's so pissed off. Right? All the time. As a teenager, Jones attended Union Endicott High School, where he excelled in wrestling and showcased his immense talent on the mat. During his college years, Jones found himself facing an unexpected challenge as he became a father at a very young age. He decided he would drop out to search for a way to provide for his family. Jones' interest in martial arts and combat sports led him to pursue a career in MMA. He quickly found success in regional promotions, impressing fans and experts with his versatile skill set and unorthodox fighting style. It wasn't long before the UFC recognized his potential and signed him to the promotion in 2008. John Jones' ascent through the UFC ranks was nothing short of remarkable. After only a few fights in the promotion, he secured his first title shot against Mauricio Shogun Rua in March 2011 for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. We all know how that fight went. Over the next few years, Jones defended his title against formidable opponents, including Quentin Rampage Jackson. Quentin Rampage Jackson has got him. Looking to do it right here. Oh, man, Looking to finish this fight. Quentin's trying to pry it off. It's all over. It. John Jones has defended his UFC light heavyweight championship. Lyoto Machida. This is wrestling. Oh! Again, they battle in another big knee. 45 seconds John's on the got clock his in head. a second. He's got a choke. Trying to choke him out. He's finish the fight here. Leona's in trouble. Trying to finish this fight. Yeah. Cover it. Cover it, it is all over. It is all over. Rashad Evans. Oh, another beautiful elbow by John. Love how he throws that. And the elbows can be much more damaging than a punch. And again, he hurt him. And he stacked him with that elbow. Closing in is Jones. And another elbow. And Vitor Belfort. Oh, man. Big, big, big elbows by John Jones. Not good for Belfort. He's, got, he's trying to get him in the Mount of Crucifix. He just needs to secure the right arm. Now he's going for Kimura. It That's is it. all over. That's it. John Jones remains the UFC light heavyweight champion. 
In April 2012, Jones faced controversy when the UFC made the unprecedented decision to cancel UFC 151. After a scheduled opponent, Dan Henderson, withdrew due to an injury, Jones refused the replacement opponent on short notice, leading to the event's cancellation and widespread criticism. Uh, and we, when I called him, he was literally on a flight landing in some country for a connecting flight to Brazil. So, uh, we, you know, we... we we exhausted all the options. We called Chael Sonnen. Chael Sonnen literally said to me, I'll fight him tonight in Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay or any other casino you choose. And, and, and he was ready to go. We called John Bones Jones. He's, not only is he the world champion, he's one of the top three ranked, uh, you know, pound for pound fighters in the world. He said, I will not fight Chael Sonnen on eight days notice. Throughout his career, John Jones faced numerous personal challenges, including issues with drugs and alcohol. He was involved in mo multiple incidents, leading to his suspension from the UFC in 2015 after a hit-and-run accident in Albuquerque, New Mexico. The suspension cost him his title and tarnished his reputation. Jones's legal problems continue to follow him as he faced charges for various offenses including a hit-and-run incident involving a pregnant woman in 2015 and a DUI in 2020 after he was inducted into the Hall of Fame. These incidents sparked public outrage and added to his already controversial legacy. One of the most infamous rivalries in MMA history is between Jones and Daniel Cormier. Their heated feud was marked by trash talk, insults, and even a press conference altercation where Jones punched Cormier. The rivalry added on an extra layer of drama to their subsequent fights. Hey, are you still there? I actually admire that you can actually be this fake in like when the TV comes on, how you can just change. Thank you. You're in a f scum. Nearing the later stages of Jones's career, he had some questionable wins on his record. He had a very narrow split decision win over Tiago Santos and what most people call a robbery win over Dominic Reyes. After this fight, he decided he would, will relinquish his title to move up to heavyweight. Jones was set to face Cyril Gaon for the vacant heavyweight title. He quickly submitted him in under two minutes. There is no doubt in my mind that John Jones is the greatest fighter of all time, and he will continue to be for a long time to come.